Hey everybody, Scott here for the Helix channel. It is Saturday. The hell am I doing here on Saturday? Well, Friday got a little bit busy. I, uh, I went over to help a friend with uh, sort of a studio guitar session kind of situation where he needed, wanted some 80s metal guitar. Brought the Helix with me, rocked out for a bit. Came back home after shopping for Christmas stuff and it was too late to do a video. So, eh. But it's Preset Saturday now. Haha. <laughs> and I took a request and I'm going to show you how to use the new AutoWA function in the new uh, 2.11 firmware. What could it be better? Shall we? Alright, let me take you through the whole process here. First I've set up a little preset that's it's fun. It's got a little red squeeze compressor. I'm going to take this out so that I can show you how to set it up from scratch. I've had to do it twice because it took me a little bit uh, of time to get it to work both times. And I wanted to make sure that I could do it. Um, using an old Tweed uh, amp model. Oh, need to split that evenly between the two. A pair of IRs, a Supro, and Vox AC15. So they're a pair of 112s for that old school sound. It's the only way to really get the most old school sound out of the Helix. It's to use 112s and one of the, uh, you know, the vintage uh, Tweed amps or the, uh, whatever that other really old one is. I think it's a Supro or the uh, super old Gibson. But uh, I've got a really minimal uh, digital delay here and some room reverb. Now, when I uh, click onto this, I've got two presets or two uh, snapshots, cleanish and solo. And when I go over to solo, the room reverb bumps up. The delay stays the same. I didn't really want any of that to increase the, uh, the amount of, um, you know, the IR output increases on both of them, as well as the uh, drive and channel volume and master. So you just get more of the amp, which is super fun. Now let's go through the whole process of adding an auto wah. So just click on the uh, joystick, go down to wah. Doesn't matter if they're mono or stereo. I prefer the mono ones. I like the throaty wah. And I'm gonna set this one up in a very old school fashion, going really low with the uh, uh, with the low cut and the uh, high cut, make it you know old school sounding. Now there's a couple of things we need to do. Hit the menu button, go to bypass assign first. Now, what we want to do is set this up for expression pedal two because that's the default setting on the Helix and roll the position back to zero. Roll the, the weight up to 500 milliseconds. You can roll it down or, you know, that's kind of where I, well, yeah, let's go a little, little bit lower, like 350. Because that means when you stop moving the, uh, the Wawa, uh, when you bring it back to the zero position, is when it'll, you know, it starts the time. And in 350 milliseconds, it's when it goes back to the original uh, tone without the wah enacted at all, or, you know, enabled. So, first thing we need to do is hit learn on that, and then push the pedal forward. So let's learn that. Now we need to go to controller assign, and we wanna assign the position to the expression pedal two. Now here's where I'm making it old school sounding. I'm removing some of the low and some of the top. So this is the new range. And I'm gonna, here's, a, here's a bit of a bug we're gonna, you're gonna watch. Witness this bug. Press the learn controller and it sets it back to zero and 100. That's not what I wanted. So I'm gonna have to bring that back up to 12 and down to 88 again, and then save it. Save the preset. So let me grab a guitar here play what I've got. Right now we won't hear any wah-wah when we play. Very, uh, we shouldn't, and if we do it'll be, uh, so that's what we have. I've also got some warble on the, uh, on the delay repeats. So you'll hear basically like one and a half repeats. Um, and it gets a little bit funny. So it's like a, whatever. 
So let's unbypass. This is the problem that most people are having. When they uh, unbypass the, uh, the wah, and then they push the pedal forward, nothing happens, you just get your regular sound. And then when you let it go, you get the bottom of the wah. There we go. All right, so you need to un. Basically, what I needed to do is was bypass the uh, the pedal. Make sure that it's on that it's on bypass. And and now when I press forward, and that's as high as it goes. And then it goes back to the normal. And then when I press it forward again, it was. So basically, you just need to set all of the uh, the control parameters: a bypass, a sign, a control, or a sign. Make sure that the uh, uh, the wah itself is bypassed, and then it'll function. Cool. Cool. There you go, everybody. If you would like this free set, just go to my website, right there and it'll be in the uh, free presets section. And uh, I'll have noted what IRs I used and, uh, you know, just plug it in. Enjoy. It's a really cool old school kind of uh, sound. And with the Strat, it's even better, I think. So, Merry Christmas to all you people that, uh, you know, care about Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. To those people that give a shit about that and happy hanukkah to everyone else because everyone else is apparently jewish in my mind what are you gonna do could be i don't know i don't know what you people get up to your religious beliefs and whatnot i'm just gonna hang out here and uh make some turkey and eat some pie well not really pie but you know other stuffs so i'll see you on monday and until then Rock on.